Hey world, I just wanted to get on here and uh, express some serious stuff that I've been going through. And um, I normally don't do this, but uh, I figured it's time to do it. But uh, starting out, my fiance, you know, as you know, some of you do, uh, Serena Marlo uh, had uh, passed away in 2021 and not that I'm using her as my excuse but um, her daughter and I were her caregivers at that time and we were making good money and she also had her SSI once a month and all of that got us through and we were able to get all our bills paid and be able to have decent holidays and take vacations like to Dollywood and um, Malton, Walton's Mountain and different things like that and be able to go to comic cons and things that she really enjoyed the doing and that I've grown to love to do that I'm finding hard doing without her and there's a lot of things I find hard to do without her because I miss her so much and um fuck and um so I'm just trying to find someone new who will love me and I can love them like I did with her and move on with my life but I'm finding it very tough to do as well as the fact of me being diabetic having other health issues on top of that and not being able to work not being able to get unemployment because I can't work and because I'm trying for disability and they're they take forever but my point is that I have to rely on my daughter and her boyfriend to pay for everything and take care of me take care of the bills and everything else and it's getting harder and harder because the lot rent keeps going up the landlord gets ticked and I mean we owe for everything for two months and we can't get any help anywhere and I'm afraid that if something doesn't break, we're going to lose everything and be on the streets. And I know there's people out there that have signs holding up saying, oh, we'll work for food or, or need help, can't find work, that type of thing. But you know what? A lot of those people choose that way because a lot of those people can work can be on their feet all the time because you see them standing all the time now I'm not busting everybody for that because there are some people that actually do live on the streets are disabled I've even seen a person 
sitting in a wheelchair unless they're faking it. But I doubt it. I mean, these people, uh, these people are out there hollering for money. Okay? I don't want to do that. I'm not that type of person to sit out there all day with a sign expecting people to pay for me to eat. But we owe so many people and you know, I've I've lost friends over it because I've borrowed money from them and haven't been able to pay them back. Not that I don't want to. I want to. I'm not that type of person. I'm an honest, decent person. And I've even tried GoFundMes. And unless somebody else does it for you and shares with their friends and family and all that other stuff, there's really no way you can get the money. I've even shared it with Darman for his videos. And I haven't gotten any word from anybody anywhere on getting money. So, I don't know what to do and I'm hoping somebody out there is watching this that they can help me and my daughter and her boyfriend. I would really appreciate it and if you are going to help send me a message. Thank you very much. Goodbye.